Hey everyone, this is Aerial Royalty and we're back for Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2, episode 11. Last time we helped Mulan in the Land of Dragons. And now we're going to pick another world and as this one right here is the one that we unlocked at the same time as the Land of Dragons, that's what we're going to do. And this gummy rat right in the process. And I'm going to use the falcon. You got that right, Goofy. Now look how cool this place looks. So if there's a lack of commentary, then it means I haven't thought of anything to say yet. So we're going to land in Beast's Castle. Hey, what is this place? It's huge! It's sort of gloomy, don't you think? I wonder who lives here. Hey, does anybody else recognize that? 
Hey, that's the beast. Maybe we should check up on him. Look! So in the last game... in time. this many heartless around, something must be up. Why do you have to do that? Okay, now I can finally talk without being interrupted. Um, in the last game we saw Belle and Beast at Hollow Bastion. And now we can finally see them in their home. to go and have a look. <laughs> At what the beast has been doing this entire time. find them. What's wrong, Donald? Let's 
Sounds like a plan. to say for commentary. How the fudge am I gonna get that? Hmm? So Bell, I believe, is up here. A mithril shard. They are really common. They should. But one thing that they do here, they make you go past a load of treasure. <laughs> now let's be up a statue. Be 
Beast obviously cares more about his rose than he does his suits of armor. Okay, know where we're getting that just yet. Yeah, definitely know where we're getting that. Another treasure, another treasure, another treasure. How are we doing on treasures anyway? Uh, we went past a few, but I know where they are. We missed one. There. But there's an invisible, bar invisible barrier here, so we can't get past it. It's just the game's way of doing it. Now, how are we doing on other stuff? Mm, how many pieces are here? Quite a few. Here we got another Anson report. in five pieces. There's a door behind the wardrobe. Time to move it. That sounds heavy. Yeah. I forgot about these in Beauty and the Beast. I must admit, the human version of it wasn't that bad. So yeah, pretty simple mini game here. You didn't give us a chance to. have some very powerful magic. You've hardly told us anything.
This must be it. Two. Better be. But the only thing I'm expecting me on that door is either the dungeon or a staircase that leads to the dungeon, so. Well, there's two pieces of awakening. So let's put them in their places. There's nobody here. You mean there's nobody to rescue? <sighs> Did someone say rescue? Shh, keep quiet. It might be them. Oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Yeah, Bell sent us to find you. Wow. I'm Sora. Donald. Goofy. I am self-winding, sir. I am not too I'm glad you're okay. It is we who are overjoyed to see you. Did somebody put a spell on you guys too? Yes, that's 
right, you've heard. It was the Enchantress. It seems so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince... Stop that! Put me down this instant! Thank you. Oh, Donald, you make me laugh sometimes. <sighs> it's not just awful, it's also known as being rude.
Come on, Poppy. Okay. This will do the trick. Don't do the trick. Please hurry and be quick about it. Ah. You try. It's a bit high for them to reach.
Hannah's voice from the Harry Potter series, you would have thought she's not really a singing type, but boy, they should have put a song in for the, her to sing in the Harry Potter series to show off that voice. It's time you dealt with Belle. She's scheming to take everything you have. This castle, your precious rose, and then your life. Trust no one. Feed your anger. Only anger will keep you strong. I've had enough of strength. There's only one thing I want. What? To love and be loved in return. Who could ever love a beast? See? She has accomplices. Hey, Prince. Something tells me he's not in the mood to talk. See, that is, how shall I say, uh, actually, um... Well, you put everybody down here in that dungeon. I did what? Uh, you did. Who was that guy you were talking to? The one in black? <gasps> Zaldan. <sighs> That's his name. He came from the darkness. He... Used my anger to control me. He took all my sorrow, my sadness, my pain, and turned it all into rage. There was nothing I could do. I could no longer see the truth. Well, all me. That must be why you threw all of your friends down there into the dungeon. You wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt them, right? Was that it? Was it to protect them? Sure! We know you're good inside! He's right, Master. We've all seen how kind you can be. After all, Belle can see the goodness in your heart, but I'm afraid you've yet to... Belle! Oh, I've mistreated her. I've mistreated her and been so selfish. She didn't say anything about that. She'd never tell anyone of my cruelty. She's too good. You see, I'm afraid he judges himself far too harshly. Why don't you just go talk to her? But... No excuses. Come on, we'll go with you. <laughs> That's just how I wanted it, so... Ugh. So, what do you got? You've got hyper healing as well. But you look okay. Okay. Okay, that looks good. No. 
the beast in this human form. Okay, I gained an AP boost. Oh, goes the Sora. I want to have a Sora. Come by boost. here for this episode so join me next time where we will finish off this world and maybe begin the next world so i'll see you then goodbye